Are you suggesting I blow stuff up? Because that's a bit naughty. I don't really want to be blowing stuff up after the Lisbon thing. Like, we don't need a repeat of that. This prototype seems very powerful. Use it with care, Master Cormac. Why have I got it? Our intelligence says this thing can destroy certain fortifications, as well as injure several enemies at once. There is also a more subtle way to use it. Right. Some of these grenades contain a strong sedative. Fire one into the crowd and they will fall asleep immediately. Oh, I see. We should test this new weapon. Use it against that door. Do I a uh, grenade launcher? Yes. Okay. How do I select the grenade launcher? Use there it is. Grenades to destroy that door. Oh my god. Well, that works, is not it? Good work. I think you are ready to turn this new weapon against the ruffians who would have used it. There is an abandoned factory in the way out of a dangerous prison. Right now, it only causes sleep. But I fear those outlaws are still a more powerful form of killed. And that's my first target. Why would the assassins do that? I'm pretty sure that this is a lie. This is like the massivest, massivest lie I've ever heard. And actually, the assassins are planning on using it against the Templars because they're all dicks. Um, but I'll, I'll roll with this. I'll roll with this. Oh, Lord. Oh, thank God. I thought you were going to go to the rope, you silly sod. Not just run off the edge. Silly. Right. Oh, what does this do? Let's find out, shall we? Oh, nice! That's quite cool. I like that. Right, we've got... Oh, sweet. Someone's... There might be someone up there. Someone's done a quest and succeeded. Now, there are two down here. Ooh, hello. Sleepy bye-byes. Ten guards to sleep. That's not going to happen, is it? How many guards? That's, That's one down. And that guy missed because he doesn't know where I am. Good job, mate. Excellent job. That's right, you go down and have a look. You'll get a much better view from there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go back this way and bomb that one first. Oh, gas. Oh, Lord. Completely didn't think that through, did I, when I did it? So we got no one. Whoa, and there goes the bomb. I said the bomb thing. The, uh, the poison. Hello. This is dangerous. All right. That's not where I am, mate. Good job. Silly. I don't know what he was aiming at then. But I wasn't over there, so good job. We've got incoming. Actually, you know what? I could take that him there if he's there. What are you doing? Hi. Here we are. Hi. That was the worst time to come up the ladder. Uh, right. Oh, shit. Got another one. Got another one coming in. Uh, oh. I thought he was going to actually, like, fall there properly, but no, no, he wasn't. Right. If I put this here... That won't do it. So I've got to actually get down there. Okay, right, let's deal with it. Let's get this guy. Here we are, right, down. Ah, that side, that side. Where's this person? Okay, we're fine. This is all fine. There we are. Sorry? Did you just, did you just slag me off? Also, I've run out of ammo because I'm a massive noob. There we are. That's what I want. I must get out, or I'm as good as dead. That's no problems. No problems there. Woo! 
Do do do. Done. That's going to be big. That's, yeah, there she blows. There she blows. Oh my god. I was expecting something more than that. I was expecting an explosion after that explosion, but that's probably unrealistic, isn't it? Ah! What marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned a whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It is uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shay can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on uh, the Colonel. Huh? <laughs> Is something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. Yes, of course, because you recognise those people that we know are Templars from earlier. Yes, he remembers. Because you, if you were uh, ages ago, do you remember when we were looking for the box and we had to kill people? Was it William Johnson? Uh, was hanging around there, but also well spotted everyone who pointed out that he's in Assassin's Creed 3 as, I think, one of Charles's little buddies, Charles and Haytham's, which implies we're going to meet Haytham soon, which I'm kind of happy about because I like Haytham, even if he's a massive douchebag. So there you go. That's, that's, that's who he is. So well done if you did spot it. And if you didn't spot it, now you know. North Atlantic, August 1757. Have you been smuggling drugs again? Oh no, it's the... book? I thought that was at the bottom of the ocean. From the colonel. Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause. Yes. And this despite, and perhaps because of, your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassins sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British army and my soul to the father of understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. Well, bye, George. You are a Templar, but you seem like a reasonable man. I've started, haven't I? I'm turning. Right. Uh, that's not the way, it's this way. Good God, you think I'd know by now. Where the shit are we? We look like we're in the middle of... I don't quite know, nowhere. There's some... Uh... Oh, no. Yeah, let's not have the grenades attached automatically. That would be silly. Where am I going? Mind your post, guest. The Colonel's in trouble. Oh, we're going to save the Colonel? What do you mean, in trouble? He's at Fort William Henry, facing impossible odds. Get off your lazy asses, lads, and man your stations! We raise anchor! I've already raised it, mate. We're off. Sorry for the early libation, Captain. But do you realise that it's been a whole year since we met? <laughs> a whole year! 
Changed my life, you did. And for the better. <laughs> you will uh, forgive me if I have been uh, celebrating without you. Are you drunk? Yes. I have a question for you. How long have you known of my, well, former allegiance? Oh, you mean the assassin? Ah! <laughs> I may be drunk, but I'm not blind. Or did you think I would assume you had escaped from some homicidal circus? Why didn't you say anything? Well, the colonel wanted us to avoid the subject. Yes, of course he did. Influence your decision making. You saved my life out of pure Bloody shit, get out the way! Countless others besides. If it were up to me. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What are you. Look. Can you bugger off, please, ship? Monroe mentioned a Grand Master. Oh, yes. The Grand Master of a colonial right. You Hate like them! His father was an assassin. Really? He must have a story to tell. It's Haytham, oh man! What is the news from Fort William Henry? The garrison is surrounded, and reinforcements are late. General Montcalm has been blazing a path across the colonies for King Louis, hasn't he? I rather That ship is on a collision course. His or King Louis? Either. Though I suspect the king's is finer. Indeed. Madame O'Murphy is supposed to be quite the charmer. And O'Murphy is in the French king's bed. Now I know you're pulling my leg. Oh, here we are. So have I got to... Have I got to fast travel? Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Have I got to fast travel? Because if so, then this is silly. Yes, I have. So I have to travel all this way. And now it tells me it's a fast travel. I should have just looked. I should have just looked. Right, I probably should slow down a tiny bit, otherwise I'm going to run aground, but I don't really care. Wee, wee. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, there we go. What are they holding out here for? This is a fort? Oh, Jesus Christ, what was that? Can we not damage my ship, please? Thank you very much. Oh, what's this? Oh. I've accidentally called the ship. I don't know what that... Oh. Anchor away. Weird. Bit of a weird one. I don't know why you'd... Why would you call the ship? Surely it's not going to go anywhere unless people keep stealing it again. Who knows? I, who knows anymore? Right. Fort Henry, wasn't it? I'm not sure I see a fort anywhere around here. Ah, hello. Who's this joker? Shay, you are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Moncal. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Ah. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. Bloody Johnson. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Moncal. The colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Ah. Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll, I'll protect the colonel. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. I mean, I'm not sure how one man can do this, but Maybe okay. I can finally repay my debt to him. Very, a very. Uh, <laughs> not too late. Oh bloody hell! Right. Well, this looks promising. There's already a dead body over there. There's also someone over there. Someone in the... Oh, God, there's a guy up there as well. How am I going to do this bit? Oh, success. Mission success. Oh, I have to go down. I think we're looking at either one of these bushes, so... There we go. <laughs> Shit. That's it, I've run out now. Okay. I know where they are now. Oh lord, I don't know where you were going, mate. But that's not where I wanted to go. I think we are too late. I hate to, I hate to, you know... 
tempt fate and all, but it's not looking brilliant. Oh, they're running off. Die. Ah, shit. Yeah, I blocked you. I blocked you, didn't I? Yeah, that's right. Uh. Saw you coming from a mile off, mate. I knew you were up there. I was just chasing your friend. Oh. Ah! Oh, Lord. Hello. Oh, to the face. Ah, here we are. I will save you from the assassins. Don't worry. Death to our enemies. There we go. You all right, lads? Good work, men. Master Cormac. Sir, we must hurry. We should bring what's left of your men to the Morgan. A welcome offer, Captain Cormac. Follow me. Safe passage is ahead. I'm not sure you, you needed my help there, dude. What happened at Fort William Henry? Poor planning and poor luck, I am afraid. Montcalm was able to bombard us for days. Damn frog. Actually, he acted with great honor. When we sent for Parley, he returned an offer far more generous than anticipated. We kept our arms, and more importantly, our colors. Only to walk into a trap. I would hardly expect the French to defend that. Would you? No. I wouldn't. You continue to prove your loyalty to the Templars, Master Cormac. Risking your life for me. We're not out of the woods yet, Colonel. As for my loyalty, well, I do owe you, don't I? Uh, you your flipping mouth, life. dude. Gave me a second chance. We have been working together for a year now. During that time, you have rendered many great services. Whatever debt you imagine you have towards me is paid, wouldn't you say? Perhaps. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, God. Oh, no, it's Kesakawase. Live! Attack! Oh, shitty bums. Take cover! 